Well, hello there, fishing friends. And if you're new here, welcome. So on today's video, I thought I would remake my lodge video. I've done a lodge video for the past couple of years. They've made a lot of new improvements on the lodge this year. So I figured it was time for a 2024 video. So let's go ahead and jump into lodge and let's get started. Okay, so when you first enter the lodge, you'll see some news here. Usually I like to scroll through this news and see what they've added, what's new. Once you've read it, you can click on this box to not show this again. And that'll go away. And then you won't see that one again. You just hit confirm. The next time you come in, you'll be able to see that news again. So if you don't want to see it again, just click on that box. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go over here to the TV screen. Now this is where you're going to do all kinds of stuff in the lodge. You're going to turn on rewards. You're going to look at the news, messages, all kinds of things. And let's go through some of these tabs and explain a little bit of it. So the news, that's usually the season of competition. Um, normally that's like the top 10 of the freshwater, top 10 of the saltwater. Those are the people that fish a lot. <laughs> so, and you get your rewards over there as well. So if you want to try to get a reward, you got to be in the top three of saltwater or freshwater and anticipate on fishing a lot if you're going to do that. But, uh, yep, so that's usually what you see in the news. That's about the only thing I've ever seen in the news. Uh, this also shows you the version that you're on. Uh, so if there's ever any updates, and they say you need to be on version 2.646, come down here, you go to your news tab there, and it'll show you what version you're on. You can also see it on the load screen when you're first loading into the game. But this way it'll show you how to uh, check your version. All right, so the next one is reward. And as you can see, I did miss my first week of rewards. I was out of town and on a business trip and I didn't uh, didn't play. So of course I didn't get that. But if you complete all four weeks of rewards, you do get a fifth special reward. Usually it's something pretty cool, cool shirt, cool hat. In this case, an eye patch. All right, so, but you do gotta play. All you gotta do, you don't even have to play. All you have to do is log on to the game. That's it, you log on to the game and it gives you your weekly reward. So you're just logging in, that's all you gotta do. All right, so coupons, this is where you can redeem codes. If you're on the Facebook page, sometimes they'll put codes out there, unlock fishing poles. Um, if you're doing beta testing and stuff like that, you could use codes for that. Uh, every once in a while, the developers will give you a code and you put that here in the coupon section to redeem those special codes and unlock specific items. Under the notice, this is the same news that you see when you first walk into the door and it shows you what's there. So if you say you don't want them to see it again, but you want to go back and look at it, you can go here, click on notice and go in and look at uh, what you missed out on. This is another one that I uh, closed the other day. So I can go in and I can see that notice as well. And messages. I currently have no messages, but if you have any issues with the game, say something is missing, or you need to report something to the developers, a bug or something like that, you can click on the send message button. You can select bug, and then you can type in your message. Or what I would recommend is using this microphone down here and just speaking your message, and it will type it all in for you. That way you don't have to try to type it all on this keyboard. So you can actually speak your message. It will type it in there for you. Once it's been typed, then you can click on send messages and that will send your message to the developers explaining whatever bug that you're experiencing or if you're missing something or something like that. And then they'll get back to you and try to resolve your issue. All right, so up here, that was our home right there. Next, we're gonna go to this airplane looking thing. This is the journey mode. Uh, so the journey is kind of like little games. Uh, make sure that when you do your journeys that you read them specifically on what you got to do. Sometimes you have to uh, save the fish. Sometimes you have to release the fish. Each journey is a little bit different. So make sure that you read them very well to see whether or not you need to save or release those fish. So I haven't done a whole lot. I've done a couple of adventure ones and I did a uh, New Year's journey. that was really fun. I did a video on that. If you want to go back and check that one out, that was a pretty fun one. So, but they'll have special journeys every once in a while, but these are all the current journeys that they have right here. And once you go in there, there's a bunch more journeys that you can select when you go in there. 
So highly uh, suggest trying out those journeys. They're pretty fun. All right, so down here we have the map section. Start you off in South Korea. You can go back to the world map. And this is where you can select all your different maps, all your different locations. You got your South Korea, you got your Japan locations, you got your Japan free. You got all your United States locations. Uh, you have National Park, US free down there that everybody gets. Uh, these other two are DLCs that you have to purchase. And Japan part one, Japan part two are also DLCs that you have to purchase. Just click on those and you can purchase them right in the game. This starred one right here, this is a special event stage. Uh, they'll pop up an event every once in a while. Currently there's an event going on. So you click on that and you can go in and catch the event fish. And I'll explain those fish a little bit later once we get down here to the fish section. All right, we're gonna look at our fishing tackle here. This is where you can uh, check out your fishing poles, all your different poles, say you purchased a pole or you unlocked a pole with using one of those codes and you're trying to figure out where it's at. You can come in here into your tackle. You can select float fishing or lure fishing. Click on your fishing pole there. You can see there's an event pole right there. There's another one there. You can switch between spinning and casting using this here and fresh water and salt water using this here. And you can go in and find the special poles and different things like that. Got float fishing over here. There's a special pole that I have in my float fishing. So there you go. And same with the reels. You can look at your bobbers. You can see how many bobbers you own. You can go into your bait and see how much of each bait you own. You can go into your lures and see how much of each lure you own, stuff like that. Um, and you can also see all the specs over here on their hook and attraction and range and all that other stuff. I do have videos on all the lures. I have videos on all the differences between the fishing poles. So check out my videos to, um, for those. And uh, yeah, you can learn a little bit more about fishing poles and lures by going into my uh, my videos down there. I'll put, actually, I'll put, I'll put those links in the description as well. That way you can just go down there and, and find them. All right, so over here, we have the store. This is where you can go in and purchase your rods and reels and bait and all that other stuff that we just got done looking at. Once you've purchased it, uh, you it doesn't go away and, unless it breaks. Uh, once it breaks, then you can come back in here and purchase a replacement. Now, even if it's really low, let's see if I have one that's, I don't think, all these are new, so I'd have to look at my other, my actual tackle. Let's see here. I have an example. Yeah, you see how my durability on that one was quite low right there? Now, once it gets all the way down to here, I can't purchase that. Matter of fact, I think I got a I think I got a reel that was really low. Like almost ready to break. Where's it at? Well, it's here, so there it is. Yeah, that one there. So that one was pretty low. So you can see the durability on that one is really low. It's gonna break after a few more casts. You can't actually purchase that until it breaks. But don't worry, you don't lose your fish. Um, it waits until you get your fish all the way in and then it breaks. So once it breaks, then you can go out to the store and you can do that when you're in game while you're fishing as well. You can click on your button, uh, your top button there and bring up your store and go into your store right here. All right. All right, and then the fish. This is where you add and subtract fish in the fish tank. It's also where you can come out here and just look at the different fish that are available in the game and see which ones that you're missing. Now there are some that have a star. Let's see if I can find one of those. And that are the, those are the event fish. That's the one that you would catch on the event map. So here we go, we got a couple of them down here. You see the star right there? Those mean that those are event fish. You can only catch those on an event map during an event. So currently the event is actually it's saltwater. So well, let's see habitat. Well, let's see, it's on a beach, I believe. And it is an epic. And the current event is the convict surgeon fish right there. That's the current event that's going on right now. 
So if you don't have that fish, I highly recommend you log on and come out here and play the event location while it's still available and catch that convict surgeon fish. By the time you watch this video, it might be gone. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, it might be a new event. And so this is where you can see the fish. Now, if you click on fish tank up here, this is where you can add and subtract fish. So since we are on the freshwater area up here, I can only add and subtract lake and river fish. So, so you can add all of these back in. And to add and subtract fish, all you do is just press the plus sign. If you want to get rid of them, you plus, press the minus sign and they show up in your fish tank. If you want to reset it and start over, click on empty. That will reset your fish tank. All of the fish will be gone. And then you can go in and add them back in, whatever you want to add to your fish tank. And there they are. There's all the fish that I just added. So that's how you add fish to your fish tank. Now down here, this is where you can add interior stuff. Now up in the shop, uh, if you look down here, there was an aquarium section. You can buy stone wall, wall plants, trees, and rocks. You can also unlock using some of these trophies over here. Uh, if you, you know, catch a lot of fish or catch a lot at night and stuff like that. You will unlock specific rewards. Some of those rewards will actually be over here under decorations. So uh, you can come in here after you've purchased that in the store. You can come back in here and click on your stone wall. Now you see I got a stone wall back there. You go into your decorations. Some of these decorations were purchased. Some of these were earned. And you can just turn these on just by flipping the little switches there. And all my decorations are showing up in the fish tank. These ones here were for events. So these were special events that I, I did and it unlocked some of those gold uh, trophies inside the fish tank there. So that's where those came from. So not everybody will have those. <laughs> this right here is the leaderboard. You can see where your status is at on the leaderboard. That's for your uh, competition, your monthly competition. It, it does reset every month. So yeah, right there it shows that season ends in eight days. So in eight more days, this will all reset. Everybody will be back to square one. And right now these are the top three people that are fishing a lot. Poison Ivy's on there quite a bit. She's really good. Uh, she likes to fish. She's an awesome person. If you ever get a chance to fish with her, highly recommend fishing with her. She'll tell you all kinds of cool stuff. Teach you all kinds of fishing techniques. So, <laughs> All right, so there's the leaderboard. And then you go down in here to multiplayer. They recently just changed this. Uh, multiplayer now has color codes. I'm not quite sure what the gray one is. I've, I have not seen a gray one since I started this. Um, but uh, so blue is for uh, saltwater and green is for freshwater. So if you see a green location, that is freshwater. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe he has actually death rose is actually maybe in their lodge. Perhaps maybe that's what the gray is for. I am not quite sure and it's locked so I, I, we won't find out but uh, yeah usually blue is uh, saltwater green is freshwater so if you want to come out here and fish multiplayer and you want to fish on freshwater you would find something that's green like that. You can create your own room you can make it uh, open for everybody to join you can lock it put a password on it. Uh, I highly recommend you go out here and try multiplayer out fish with some of these people that are out there. I've made a lot of really cool friends fishing in multiplayer, so I highly recommend you give it a shot if you haven't tried it already. All right, so we're gonna go down here. This is your settings. Um, I'm currently in my meta avatar, and that's just for this tutorial. I don't normally fish with my meta avatar. Uh, I did this so that I can kind of show you how you would start, how you're gonna be when you first start the game. and So more for new people. Uh, in here, you're going to adjust your music, sound effects, ambient, and your interface. Interfaces, when you click on buttons, it's louder and softer. So that's what the interface is. Ambient is like, you know, the birds and stuff in the background. And sound effects, your reels, stuff like that. And of course, your music. Graphics quality, um, frame rate, I recommend leaving that at high. And high. I don't know why anybody would want to change their graphics quality or frame rate, especially if they're using a Quest 2 or a Quest 3. Both of them are great on high. So, uh, yeah, leave those two on high. 
difficulty, uh, you can change that while you're fishing. Normal is when you see the fish in the water. Hard, you get a fish finder, an expert, is when you don't have the fish finder at all and you can't see the fish, you're just fishing like you would be if you're really fishing. Uh, your unit, you can change your unit for whatever country you're in, whatever you're used to. Uh, so I'm in the United States, so I got inches and pounds. MRC, that's mixed reality content. So that's for, say you can use an iPhone, which I don't know if it's available to use anymore. I was gonna try to do a video on it the other day. Noticed that I could not find that in the iPhone anymore. Uh, but this is where you can actually put a phone up, turn this on, it will have you fishing in the game so you can actually see your your real self inside the game. Um, that's usually for like streamers and you know content creators like myself that like to do mixed reality. Most people won't do mixed reality content. So you got your controllers up here, left, right, single, both. Um, so this you can change it if you're left-handed or right-handed. Single-handed is where you use your, your trigger to reel in, or both-handed is when you're reeling with both hands. Uh, when you're using the meta avatar, you can only do both hands. You can't do single hand. Um, so single hand is quite nice, especially if you have bad shoulders and stuff like that. Sometimes this repetitive movement of reeling might affect you if you have some something going on with your shoulder you know because unlike real fishing you're casting out and you're reeling constantly <laughs> so real fishing you're not constantly reeling and catching and reeling and catching you're you're casting out you're letting it sit there for a second you might reel it in so uh yeah you're doing a lot more repetitive motion on this and sometimes some people will fish for 12, 14 hours a day, so that could get uh, that could get quite bad on your shoulder. So a lot of people will fish with single hand, but it's it's your game. You can fish it however you want. If you want to fish with both hands, fish with both hands. It's your game. So do what you want. Uh, movement in the lodge. So teleport is when you when you're pressing this around and you teleport there. Um, when you got fast walk, you click that on you kind of walk around like that. All right, uh, and then you got slow walk. It slows you down a little bit when you're walking. Snap turn, fast turn, and slow turn. Snap turn is how it is now, where you just snap. I click on fast turn, it turns like that. Slow turn, turns like that. Makes me quite dizzy, so I always use snap and teleport. Um, these will make you kind of dizzy if you're not used to them. Lodge environment, uh, if you leave it on real time, the day will change, like right now it's sunset for me. Uh, it will change during the day. In the morning, it'll be morning, daytime, nighttime, stuff like that. So in a little bit, it'll be night. If you want to change your uh, lodge environment to nighttime and just leave it nighttime all the time, you can do that. Or if you want to just do sunset, sunset's really pretty, you can just leave it at sunset all the time and leave it there. I just should leave it at real time and just let it change with me. Now data storage, that's your cloud data. So that will show you what your current data is on your headset compared to the online cloud data. And you could do a save if you want to update that. Uh, it does it automatically so you really don't have to. But say you want to wipe the game, start over, you can do a save and then you can restore your data from the uh, cloud data. All right, in your language, you can select whatever language you speak or you read, and you can change that to whatever works for you. All right, and the very last one over here is the tutorial section. If you have not done the tutorial section, if you're new to the game, I highly recommend you go out here and do the tutorials because you get a lot of credits for doing that. You earn a lot of credits. Some of these over here will actually give you um, like doing the tutorials is also in there, I believe, somewhere. Um, we'll give you some credits for doing the tutorials. But you do earn a lot of credits so you can buy fishing gear just by doing these tutorials. And it doesn't take that long. So I highly recommend if you haven't done it, to go out here and check these out. It'll be a lot of stuff that I have in my videos, but it's all right here in the game as well. So, all right, so that is how you look at this TV. So let's go ahead and head over here 
and look at our trophy cabinet. Now the trophy cabinet, again, this gets you all kinds of credits. So you want to, you know, license level up. If you get up to level 20 on your license level, you get 2,000 credits. By tackle, you get 2,000 credits. So you want to work on trying to unlock these trophies so you can get credits. So release fish, you know, release 5,000 or release a bunch of fish, you get 5,000 credits, stuff like that. So catch a lot of fish. I don't remember how many fish it was, but you know, you'd catch all these. You get t-shirts. You meet other players, you get a games cap, stuff like that. Catch huge fish, you get new gloves. You get all kinds of cool stuff. Scuba decorations, that's the scuba guy over there. So, yep, all kinds of cool stuff just by doing these. So I highly recommend you come over here. Just click on that and you can see where you're at. See these two I haven't quite finished yet. Um, catch a lot of freshwater fish that are added by the US East DLC. I still need to catch a whole bunch more US East DLC. This one will get me a boat and this one will get me the American East title. And I'll show you how to add that title to your character in just a little bit. All right, so let's go over here and let's go into the closet. All right, so here we are in the closet. There's all my fishing poles. This is where you would see your fishing poles. There's all my fishing reels. There you go. So all the ones that I bought or unlocked or purchased or whatever. And over here you come to the, the mirror and you can actually change your avatar. Now I am using the meta avatar right now, just for an example of how you would start the game. I always fish with the classic avatar. And that's what my classic avatar looks like. Now with the classic avatar, you can actually use the clothing, the hats, the gloves, everything that you would, that you purchased in the store. So when you go to the store there, you can actually purchase gloves, hats, and different things like that. Plus the things that you were unlocking, like the glasses that I unlocked, uh, the eye patch, if you was to unlock the eye patch, all those things that you unlock, you have to use this uh, classic avatar in order to use those clothing options. Uh, meta avatar, you would change that in your meta avatar clothing area. Um, but there's also a watch. You can't see it right now because once I switch, but once I go to the other room, I will actually have a watch on my right arm and I can show you more about that once we get in there. So here we are on my classic avatar. You can change male and female gender down there. You can select your face. You can select the color of your skin. You can select your age and you can select different face types down here. You can change your hairstyles to whatever your hairstyle is. You can change the color of your hair. You can add facial hair. You can change the color of your facial hair. Your eyes, you can change your eyebrows and your eye color. And here's the different types of eyebrows that you have down here. Your jacket and shirts are right here. You can change your shirt colors and your shirt types and there's just a few there there's more of these over the shirt jackets and vests and things like that um, sometimes there's other full-size shirts in here that would just cover the t-shirt as well there's all kinds of stuff in here there's dresses for ladies that want to wear dresses um, there's just all kinds of stuff in here or if whoever wants to wear dresses if you just want to wear dress this is how, however you want to express yourself uh, this is all the stuff that you could wear in here. Um, and you can unlock some of these during doing the logons once a week. Sometimes you get a code for special events, things like that. Uh, yeah, so yeah, there's all kinds of outfits in here. And then you have your hat section over here. This is for your hats, your glasses, your gloves, and this is the titles. So this is the titles over here. You click on that, you can select whichever title you want. And as you can see, it pops up over your head. Now, this is going to be seen when you're in multiplayer. You can change the color of your title. But if you don't want to have a title, then you can just hit reset. Um, you unlock these titles by doing the journeys and some of the other. There's some, like Doug is always with you, is a secret one that uh, not everybody knows about. I'll give you a little hint. When you're switching locations and it's showing you the real VR fishing load screen, completely turn around like that. And you'll see the credits. Once you get to the end of the credits, there's going to be a code that you can put into your code section. That will give you a Doug is always with you title. All right. And then you got hats over here. 
these are all the different hats. You can change the colors up here. Glasses, if you want to change your glasses. You can have some goofy glasses. You can have some goggles and stuff like that. All your gloves, you could purchase all these gloves in the store. Some of these you can earn by being in the top 100. Um, you don't have, so the top three gets a, an award on that board. And then the top 100 usually gets a pair of gloves. So you can get a pair of gloves. So, ooh, so those are new ones. I don't remember seeing those yet. Interesting. So yeah, I am uh, going to go back to these red ones. I like these. So there you go. That's how you change your character. All right, so let's go back out here. Okay, I'm back. Um, I noticed when I was watching the video back that I missed a couple of things that I said I would show you. Uh, one of the things was I noticed I didn't look down all the way to show you how you can change your meta avatar and classic avatar. So right here it would say classic avatar and you would just uh, click that to classic avatar. And of course I'm on the classic avatar so now it says meta avatar. That's where you change that. In the video you didn't see me but I actually clicked down here to classic avatar. And the other thing I said I would show you is the watch. Um, I forgot to show you the watch. So this is what the watch looks like. Um, if you look up here, you can see the, the uh, time. It's 8.32 currently. It shows you your battery level for your headset. Um, it used to show you the battery levels for the controllers, but they uh, removed that. Meta actually removed that from their development kit, so they can no longer show that. shows the date down there below your time. And then this over here on the left side, that's just a fishing pole. That's all that is. It's just for looks. It doesn't do anything. And then, of course, you got the year up top there. Uh, the microphone over here on the right just shows that your microphone is working. And then right up here shows that you're online, so you're on Wi-Fi. So that is your watch. So there we go. Now let's get back to where I was at. All right, let's go over here. Now this is, lot, this is Lodge B. This is the saltwater section. Um, there's two ways. You can either go to that door or you can click on your top button on your controller and click on the map here and you can select Lodge B. That will bring you here. If you click on Lodge A, it'll take you right back to where we were just at. Or you can also go to the door there and that will also take you back to Lodge A. Go over here to the TV. And in here, we can go back to the store. And here you can purchase furniture that you can add to this room. You can get more aquarium stuff that you can add to your aquarium. And once you've purchased all this stuff, some of these things get kind of expensive. But it gives you something to do with all your credits that you've earned. Every, after a while, you'll get up to 300,000 credits and you'll just wonder, what am I going to spend it on? <laughs> so... That's why I have 999 bait and tackle. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, eventually you'll just want to spend it on stuff. In here, you can actually go back into your aquarium area under interior there, and you can change your wall to whatever wall that you purchased. You can add all the decorations that you've purchased just to kind of spruce up your aquarium, make it all nice and pretty. Rewards. Now, these are those rewards that were uh, those trophies up there. Once you've uh, unlocked some of these rewards, you do get sea turtle, porpoise, dolphins, and all kinds of rewards here. All of these will actually give you two of each, except for the Japanese spider crab. Japanese spider crab, you'll only get one of those. And he just walks up and down right here. That's it. Just walks up and down right there. But all the other rewards you'll get two of each in your aquarium. So there's all my rewards. Go back over here. And then we'll go into the fish here. Now everything else is exactly the same except for these three places that I've showed you. So your store will unlock stuff for purchasing down here. Your fish, you can add saltwater fish to your saltwater tank. So then you can go in here do that, you know, unlock all these. And I added them to my, my saltwater tank. So, and then in the store, you can buy your furniture and aquarium stuff just for the store down here. Now boats, uh, you can purchase boats as well. You can do this on both locations, saltwater and freshwater boats. 
You can also unlock boats, and I'll show you more about boats here in a second. So let's go back in here again and go into furniture. Now, if you've purchased any of this furniture, you can actually add it all here just by clicking on those. And I got furniture in my room now. So there we go. And then all the rest of the stuff is exactly the same as the others. So, and you can actually change fresh water and salt water right here. Or you can go into fish. You can actually look to see a specific fish if you want to see how you are doing on a fish leaderboard. Let's see, let's see if I'm still number one. I am number one on the giant squid. I've been number one on the giant squid for a very long time. So if you want to go knock me off, there you go. That's what you need to be, 153.540 inches. So for the giant squid, <laughs> I've been on there for probably ever since the giant squid has been here. So <laughs> there you go. All right, let's go up, back up to Lodge A. And to do that, like I said, you can either go over here to the door, or I like to just click on this, and click A, and hit go. All right, so here we are back in Lodge A. And let's go over here to the door. There we go, walking into the door. And you go up here to this kiosk. Now this kiosk is where you can change your boats. So once you've purchased boats, you can also unlock some specific boats. You can get those trophies that will unlock different boats. Um, but you can change those here. So you can click on freshwater. You can arrow through your boats here. You can see that they change as I arrow through them. And then you can change the color as well. Change your colors up here. So there you go. Go over here to salt water. You can switch to the different salt water boats. And as well, you can change the colors on those. This is one that you unlock if you purchase all the boats, you actually get a submarine. I think this one came with the Japan DLC, if I remember right. As did, uh, there was a freshwater boat that came with that too. This shark boat, shark sailboat, was uh, an event boat, I believe, that I unlocked during an event. So, yeah, so that's how you can change your boats. And that just changes a little bit of the interior there. And we can go over here. You can sit in these chairs if you want to sit in the chairs, like I did in the introduction of my video. You can click on that door and go back in. And there you go. There is the lodge. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so you can see more tips and tricks videos like this in the future. And thanks for watching. And you have a great day. Bye-bye.